Janet Kuipers. section of Me Too poetry in here, as well as the performance art section. So I'm going to share with you two Me Too poems and one performance art poem. So we'll start with the Me Too poems. This first one is called White Knuckled. The hot air was sticking to her skin, uh, almost pulling, tugging at her very flesh as she walked outside down these stairs from the train station. Just then, a breeze, hot and sticky, hit her in just the wrong way. It brushed against her lower neck, and she felt his breath again. Uh, not, not his breath when he raped her, but, but his stench, hot, rank, when he was just close to her. Her, her breath quickened, uh, like the catch of her breath when she has just stopped crying. All of the emotion is still there, not going away. She walked down to the bottom of the stairs, railing white knuckled by her small, tender hands, the hands of a child. And that 90 degree breeze suddenly gives her a chill. They say when you get a chill, it means a goose walked over your grave. She knows better. She knows that it is him walking and that he trapped that child in that grave. And I, I worked as an acquaintance writing workshop facilitator for years, so I know some of these things, stories really well. This one is called Women's Very Existence. I still have to take showers a lot. I mean, every once in a while, no matter how clean I am to the rest of the world, I have to go take a shower. I, I lock all the doors. I, I close the shades to the windows. I put a towel over the bathroom mirror. I turn on the water so that it's piping hot, so steam is billowing out of the bathtub. I, I finally undress, open the curtain, put my foot in, burn my foot with the water. I wish I could hold my foot there just a little longer. I turn down the water, wait for it to cool down a little, and then step in. And then I put my head under the shower head, hold it there for a while, catch my breath. Get the soap, start scrubbing. I, I, I use the soap first, and then I get the bath brush, scrub off a layer of skin. I, I know this makes no sense. My skin is red from the heat, from, from the scrubbing, but I know I'm still not getting it off. It's down there. The, the molecules are embedded deep inside of me, and I'll have to rip, off, rip my skin off, pull out my organs before the pain goes away. But for now, all I can do is take showers. <laughs> so much cheese, is that for you? This is from Performance Art Section, it's the first piece in it, and it's called Jumping uh, Flying. When I took over the cockpit controls, I feared the airplane would fight me back and gravity would take me for a tumble. But the skies were sunny, the air was clear, and once my hands took over the job of piloting that plane, this behemoth seemed to purr like a kitten. And it was like it was six years old again, riding a bike, because no you never forget the feeling of holding onto the handlebars and giving yourself the power to take you wherever you want to go. Like a conductor, I directed the airplane above the clouds, seeing the winding streets below, no wider than strands of hair. Wonder if I could see the Everglades. And you may think, why do this? I mean, well, because I can. If I choose, I can take flight like a bird and touch the sky. But once I sat in the airplane that had no door, and I looked at the altimeter attached to my heart, my jacket, and this craft was rising over 17,000 feet. 
Just about 500 feet to go, I think, and my stomach starts to feel like so queasy. But others are there to join me and even to film it. Beforehand, I was told that if I was enjoying jumping out of an airplane, to do jazz hands <laughs> for the cameraman. So I jumped, I fell, I couldn't breathe, but I didn't forget to do jazz hands, <laughs> even though jazz hands in free fall at 120 miles per hour look more like experimental <laughs> dance or convulsions. <laughs> Pull the ripcord, <laughs> just see the Rockies from above, get a free beer from Left Handed Ale Brewery for making the jump. But, but even the cameraman asked me after I was done, what on earth were you doing? <laughs> and really, if you think about it, why on earth do I do this? Because I can. <laughs> because with every leap I'll take, I'll always land on my feet and keep looking to the sky. Yeah. Yeah.